Hello, and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll go over the AWS service called Route 53. Now, Amazon Route 53 is a domain name service, or DNS. But what is DNS, and what do we use it for? Now, chances are that you'll be running some type of uh, application workload in AWS that you want other users or customers to access. Now, the internet largely works off the uh, internet protocol, and our machines are given an IP address as a type of identifier that helps our machines communicate with each other over different networks. Now, IP addresses aren't the easiest thing to remember, especially if you had to remember uh, hundreds of them for you know, each of your favorite websites. Uh, they're usually in the IP version 4 format of something like uh, you know, 192.168.100.111. Now, imagine if you had to remember uh, you know, a different string of numbers like this for each of your favorite websites that you visit, or you know, just getting a URL link to something with an IP address, and you'd really have no idea you know, what site that would actually take you to. Humans are much better at remembering names. Uh, we can get domain names that are easy to remember and represent our site, uh, something like example.com. But if we use our laptop and try to reach uh, example.com over the internet, our laptop really has no idea how to reach the web server hosting this site. Remember, our systems communicate by IP address. So how do we take this human-friendly domain name and map it to the IP address of the web server hosting, uh, our example.com site here? This is where the domain name service, or DNS, comes in. DNS is a service that can translate our human-friendly domain names to the IP addresses representing the systems hosting that site. So as an owner for example.com here, we would configure our public DNS records with the mapping of the domain that we own to the uh, IP address of our web server. And this is what Route 53 does. It's our AWS DNS service we can use to define our private or public mappings of IP addresses and uh, service endpoints in some cases to these easy to remember names. So if we have example.com uh, running on a EC2 instance with a public IP address assigned, we can create a mapping or a record saying that our example.com domain name should point to this IP. Now, keeping things high level for this example, if we browse to example.com from our laptop, our laptop initially has no idea what IP address it should try to reach out to. Our laptop would have a DNS resolver configured. Now, this resolver is a DNS server as well that performs these DNS lookups on the DNS name and uh, returns back the IP address to our laptop in this case. These DNS resolvers may be something within your company network or uh, perhaps some type of public DNS service. But the chances are high that even this DNS resolver doesn't know what that IP address for our example.com site should be either. Remember, we configured this DNS mapping in Route 53 on AWS, not in our DNS resolver. Now, we'll skip the details here for simplicity, but through the magic of DNS, our DNS resolver knows that to look up the IP for example.com, it needs to ask the AWS Route 53 service for the IP. The IP address is then sent all the way back to our DNS resolver and uh, ultimately back to our laptop. And now we can start sending our network packets over the network to the destination IP address of the site. This service is highly reliable and provides a variety of ways to leverage the AWS global infrastructure to best serve your customers. Now, as an example, if you had customers all over the world, you may want to take advantage of deploying your uh, web servers in a number of these regions to reduce latency and improve the overall customer experience. Now, we still just want to have our single domain name of example.com for all our global users, but how do we get our customers' traffic going to the optimal region in this case? Route 53 provides a number of routing policy options to control the traffic distribution to multiple targets associated with the domain name record. For our example here, we may want to use a geolocation routing policy. In this case, Route 53 would look up the source IP address um, our laptop's public IP in this case, and do its best to figure out the general area we're located in. And based on that information, return back the IP address for the web server that's in the closest region to us. Now, Amazon Route 53 provides many configuration and routing options, 
and it's highly integrated with many AWS services. Uh, you can use Route 53 in combination with CloudFront uh, and your load balancers. There are even other AWS service endpoint names to help enable your customers and users to access your applications hosted in AWS in the most efficient and highly available way. So that's it for this name to IP translation service called Route 53. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.